Hi Tuckheads, I'm back with another video and for those of you folks that have been missing my food reviews, we're back with another one and you all know my love for Arby's. So we go back to Arby's and they have their Hawaiian sliders, the little mini sandwiches and they're made with the King's Hawaiian sweet buns, which I am very excited about. They come in roast beef, ham and then a barbecued chicken, like chicken uh, strip, I guess you could say. On these sandwiches, on these uh, these uh, little sliders. Now, roast beef, there's a curly fry up in there too. I, doesn't look good. Look at this. Come on, what is, what's in here? I mean, really? I mean, it sticks to the thing. Look at half my bun, just look how little this thing is. And then I bought it during happy hour where two to five, you're supposed to get dollar sliders. The girl goes, well, the Hawaiian ones are still $1.60. Fine, I'll still take them. But this is little. And size matters when it comes to food. This is so little, it's smashed, smushed. Come on, ham and cheese. Just a baby thing, and it's more expensive than the bigger sliders. Come on. I just don't like their ham and cheese. I'm not a big fan of that one. Roast beef and cheese. The only reason I'm getting with cheese on it, folks, is because I'm doing it for you. I'm not. I I will not get cheese on any slider any other time. Roast beef and cheese. A little bit better than the ham, but that white cheese they use. Not my favorite. Let's try the the barbecue chicken one. Actually, looks the part maybe a little more appealing, and I don't think this one has cheese on it. St yeah, no cheese, thank goodness. But look, I mean, this is so small. I mean, Arby's. I get the fact that you're trying to, you know, get King's Hawaiian on board. But geez, I mean, if you're gonna serve this small of a sandwich, I mean, and I get it, it's a slider, but. Even your sliders are twice as big as this. You want a team with King's Hawaiian? Fine. But I bet you anything, your bun supplier could probably make a much better, bigger, and cheaper Hawaiian bun. That you should maybe go with. I think that would be better than partnering with King's Hawaiian. Not taking anything away from them. But in this instance, yeah. Let's take a bite. This, this looks so good, too. Mm-hmm. As I thought, mm. this one is fantastic. Mm. The barbecue wing, kind of the barbecue, you know, you know when you go out and you have the boneless bu buffalo wings, but you get the barbecue? Pick your place. That's what this tastes like. Just a barbecue chicken sandwich. They need to have this on their slider menu all the time. And to be honest, this one doesn't need to be on the Hawaiian bun because the barbecue sauce is very sweet. So you don't need that sweet bread anyway. If you put the barbecue and the chicken on, on the normal slider bun, you got a home run. That's really good. My favorite one. So, in closing, the King's Hawaiian sliders are each $1.49 plus tax, so about a buck sixty in Minnesota. The ham and cheese just is not good. It's too watery and it mixes with the cheese and it kind of sprays into your mouth. And if it's not hot, hot, it just ugh, it just tastes weird. Roast beef. Something about roast beef and the sweet bread just don't go together. And then that stupid cheese that I just don't like, just meh. The barbecue chicken one is awesome. That gets a nine. Ham and cheese gets a two. Roast beef gets a three and a half. Arby's, what's up, man? We always get along. You, you always get big, giant scores. 
Barbecue chicken? Yes. The other sliders? Just, I mean, especially for the size you get in a little baby bun? No. Pass, fail, fail. Always a pass. That's it for me. That's it for us. We'll have another food review coming up. Hey, you see some new stuff? Let me know about it, folks. I can't review everything I don't know about. Let me know. You see something at one of the local uh, fast food restaurants? You want me to give a shot? You want me to go to Applebee's, Chili's, one of the actual sit-down restaurants, bring something home, try it for you? I'll do that. Let me know in the comments below. Thumbs up are always appreciated, and we'll talk to you very soon.